What if Die Rise was in Cold War Zombies? Now, we're spawning in with the PDW. You know, I thought I'd decide to go with one of the best point weapons in the entire game. I don't know if that's going to be the same with Cold War systems because you have the weapon upgrade on the right. So as you can see, we spawn in with like regular rarity. There's a full salvage system. We can get armor, you know, in the spawn here. We've got Exfil which this is going to be a nightmare to get back to, by the way, because we're going to go all the way, like, around to here. Pick up this one trample steam part, though. There's also armor as well. And as you can see, we have a lot more health. Like, look, the zombies just deal less damage on earlier rounds, which is quite nice. Also, the war weapons, like, every five rounds or so, they'll upgrade randomly their rarity and stuff. So, yeah, let's just stick in the spawn for a little bit, get some more points. Just move this part real quick. If you spam hold F on the part, you'll actually, like, just rotate them, or, like, move them forward. Da, 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 da. There we go. Want to have it by the door. The knife should be a one hit until like round, I think like 10 or something. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. It feels so much better playing this than playing the Black Ops 3 version because like it was just, it was quite disappointing because the mod itself wasn't bad. Don't get me wrong, but like it shouldn't be advertised as Cold War. And I understand the whole thing about the mod owner's PC basically being doomed. So they can't work on it anymore. But in that case, you'd think they'd be able to like just log into their Steam, change the mod name because it's a little bit misleading calling it Cold War and then not having like any Cold War systems. You know, there's no exfil. There's no like salvage system. There's no armor. At that point, it's just like a cool mod that has more perks, right? Right, right, about 4,000 points. I think we'll do a couple more rounds. Apparently, there is actually a rampage inducer, by the way. I was stupid. You can toggle it in the, like, command prompt. I don't remember the exact prompt, but it's not too difficult to do. Oh, we got a nuke. If you want to build the trample steam, I mean, I know there's, like, a strat to do this, but where is it exactly you take it? I think there's another trample steam part over here. Oh, my God, we've got these bitches already? I mean, screw it, dude. Let's just go for knife only. I can't stand these fucking jumpy dudes. My energy mine is ready. Oh, yeah, I put energy mine on because I just thought it would be a little bit refreshing to do. Oh, there we go. Oh, we actually got a free perk. That's nice. Oh, we got stamina up. Dude, that's actually really, really useful then. Oh, I think... Don't, do we take it here? No, that looks like death. There's no way we take it there. Double points. All right. Okay, this round we will start moving out because we've already got like 8,000 points. You know, we're doing pretty, pretty well. This just makes Dive Rise a much more enjoyable experience and we get a fucking nuke, dude. Of course. Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got max ammo, like, you know, ammo pouches that you can buy ammo for your weapon, which is very useful, of course. What the hell happened to my mouse there? What the fuck was that? That was strange. I just don't remember where exactly we take the parts. Isn't it? Do we take them down here? And then like... Oh, isn't it like... Yeah, oh shit. Oh shit! We could have actually done it! Fuck! I swear I was standing on like an invisible ledge. Am I stupid or... So now in order to do that, we've got to go all the way back around. Oh, hi, quick revive. I see you're just gone now. Oh, we've got another ammo crate. Oh, no, that's the Wonder Fizz. So you can actually like get random perks because Wonder Fizz is in Cold War, but you just like... For this one, you don't get to choose which perk you get, which to be honest is fine. It makes it makes sense. It's a little bit less broken, to be honest. What the fuck? Like, what, what? why am I randomly just like looking up at the sky? What was that about? Die rise? Can we relax? All right, here we go. Grab this quick revive. Boom, boom, boom. All right, now let's get on top of here. We don't want to go all the way to the top because as you can see, it will just crush us. So, uh, boom, there we go. All right, let's grab one of these parts. Where was the last one again? Oh, it's like over here, right? Come on, take these parts over. Do, 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 do. And it should take it down here, I think. There we go. I think I did it correctly. Boom, and then pick up this part. And that should be all. Wait, is there only three? I think there's another one, isn't there? Oh, Jesus. Hello. Where did you come from? Fucking hell. Christ above, dude. Oh, oh my God. Hello, hello, hello. I'm surprised I lived there. Holy shit. That was close. We can't quite get the trample steam then. We need like, what? One more part or something? Oh, Jesus. Let's, let's use an energy mine. <laughs> Even with the Cold War mod, this fucking map is stressful. I mean, this makes it so much more enjoyable to play Die Rise, though, man. Like, let's be honest, no one really wants to go out their way to play Die Rise. I can't wait for the remaster to release on Black Ops 3, but that'll take a long time, of course. Oh, now we play the elevator waiting game. What's this? B23R on the wall? Trouble is, I can't get on the elevator with the fucking zombie because it's going to be too difficult. Oh, here we go. And yeah, you know, the zombie's just kind of like chase me around. Like, what can I do? I can't just like dodge his attacks. You know, I've got to kill him. Oh, we've got an uncommon PDW here. Well, I guess we'll just buy that then because it's going to do more damage now because it's green rarity so you know there is that bonus oh double points right at the end of the round typical anyway we can actually look for our part now we've got oh our upgrade stations here that's huge and we upgrade that to what is it now blue rarity let's go 
I should have probably bought armor, to be honest, but it's fine. Now we know where it is as well, because I was I was completely stressed out. Like, oh my god, we're not going to be able to find it. Fuck. Now, is it? Is it upstairs somewhere? Let's... Oh my god, there's a part right there. Dude, come on. I just... Of course, it's like right there. Come on, drop me down. Boom. Get this damn trample steam. All that just for the trample steam. Now, we can fling across here, but it's kind of risky. What I kind of want to do instead is jump over here. And then... Jumping down there is fine, right? Yeah, we can jump down here. Power's down this way. Okay, boom, 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 boom. You know, there's actually PhD flopper in this. Oh, that was close. So if we can get our hands on that, that'll be really useful. Oh, we got the AN94 here. It's a rare as well. You know, I'm actually going to buy that. So that way we have two very solid rare weapons. Right now, the power switch is just over here. There we go. Oh, yeah, we can build the soliquifier. I completely forgot about that. I mean, it would have made more sense to not buy the AN94, but maybe we get rid of the PDW. Well, we've got Mule Kick, Double Tap. I'm just going to buy that straight away. We've got our Sliquify part right here. All right, part one. We've got part two here. Oh, the zombie's going to be fucking slapping me from behind. Look, can you move out the way, dude? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's two parts. Uh, third one's here. And then the final one is probably going to be up here, I imagine. Let's check, shall we? Yep, there we go. It's like the hand or the foot or something. It's like a mannequin foot. Wait a minute, is it? Oh, jug. Jug, 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 jug. I don't have enough for jug. Fuck, dude. There's always something. Okay, but at least we know where it is. And we have the Sliquify now, so gimme, gimme. I mean, we could have bought Meal Kick because... Oh, yeah, you see how the weapons are just, like, on the floor. You can pick up again, so it's quite nice. But, yeah, we have the Sliquify. Now we just, like, exist until we can afford this. Oh, we have this round again. Well, we can get a free perk, actually. Oh, never mind. We we don't one-hit knife them anymore. I mean, we could go for it, but it's a bit risky. Oh, Jesus. With the fucking... It's the jumping jacks are terrifying, actually. All right, we've got two more. Where are they? Come here, pussy. Yeah, how does it feel, bitch? Can't one-shot me now. Hello? Melees? Melee hill kills? Melee kills? There we go. Oh, we got me- We actually did get mule kick. Wait, is the gun still there? No, it's gone, dude. Fuck. The good thing about mule kick as well is we're going to get ammo drops, like, for every zombie kill, more or less. Which is actually huge for the sliquifier because, you know, you fire once and it will kill most zombies, which is nice. Oh, stop the one-hit knifing. Okay. Feels so smooth playing plutonium, man. Like, I'm so glad Black Ops 3 finally has a good client to be able to play zombies on. Like, oh my god. It took long enough, you know? Oh, here we go. Get that jug immediately. It's weird. You actually have to buy the perks like you have to drink them i'm pretty sure when we played the other cold war maps you didn't have to at all unless i'm stupid but haven't had any ammo drops just yet oh jesus hello fucking hell Woo! oh we're good we're good oh here we go yeah ammo drops yeah now we're full ammo and we've got a max ammo as well so and it reloads your weapon for you which is nice ideally we just go i mean do we have any elevators we can get on not yet this is the problem with die rise it's just elevator waiting simulator bro maybe that was what was making my fucking mouse like like go all the way into the sky i think i was rolling it over a hair like bro come on one singular hair is gonna do me like that Xfil is now available oh if only it was so easy to get back to the fucking spawn but hey we've got like our five best perks honestly because we don't exactly need like phd flopper it's just very useful in a map where fall damage is actually a bit of an issue we also want to save up salvage to be able to get armor because we don't have any yet right here we go get on the elevator so we'll just shoot once you know they can't exactly get to me never mind they can oh no he's stuck okay now i mean what we got is that the bowie knife i think it is we could always grab the Bowie knife, to be honest. Kind of want to, actually. Let's do it. Because I think we'll get, like, increased melee damage anyway, so it could still be a one-hit, and it'll be good for those free perk rounds. The Bowie knife in Black Ops 2, don't you think it looks kind of clean? Like, look how bright that is. Oh, slice. Let's see. Yep, it's a one-hit still. And it's, like, round 11, so, you know, normally it would stop by now. The great thing is we... How many points do we actually get for each kill? It's, like, 90. Okay, so that's much better than... Regular Black Ops 2, where you'd only get like 60, I think. But let's use our AN94, since we have double tap and they can't get to me. No, they can. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm fucking hell. Red screen. Oh no, the Sliquifier is just taking me into all the zombies. <laughs> Holy shit. Move out the way. Move out the way. Move out the way. Fucking hell. Bro, that is such a die rise thing to do, though. The fucking just slide me into all the fucking zombies. Jesus, man. Talk about stress. Now, I remember... Oh, we have another one of these. We can actually buy armor. Boom. 
There we go, level one armor. That's cool we have two benches to be able to buy, like, or craft armor and stuff. Because, yeah, Diarise is a very big map. So it would take a long time to navigate. We have some kind of perk here. I think this will be like probably Jug again or something. Let's try out this energy mine. See if we can actually one shot all these zombies. Boom. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a pretty solid activation. How much is ammo for this? 10,000. Jesus. Well, I mean, I suppose it makes sense. But look how many ammo clips we just got. So like if I spray this gun, you know, spray ammo as much as we fucking want. And then just run over one of them. Boom. Full ammo again. Okay, spray some more. Not a care in the world, dude. Run over one. Oh, that's full ammo again. <laughs> like, how broken is that, dude? This might be one of the best maps to have the Cold War overhaul on. Not gonna lie. Like, it really does improve the experience so much. Oh, here we go. We got the fucking round again. Where is he? Boom, get out. I think it's still a one. Is it a one hit? I can't tell. Boom. No, it's, it's not a one hit. Oh, shit. At least armor's helping a lot for this. Uh, yeah, it is jugged down there. You can kind of see it. We've also got trample steam, which we haven't even used yet. I mean, and it's actually pretty good for these rounds, but, you know. So is a bowie knife, right? There we go. And we got elemental pop. Not bad. Now, we can't quite afford anything, I don't think. Yeah, we need 500 high grade. And then 1,000 regular to be able to get the next armor piece. God, just running around like this. Oh, it feels so smooth. Just look at this. Like the, the strafe jumping and shit. Like the woo, the woo. Like it's, <laughs> it's so clean. Oh, elemental pop. Let's go. You wouldn't believe this was an 11 year old game with like this mod and everything and just a plutonium launcher just making everything so smooth. It's so fucking good. I want to get pack a punch because obviously we can get to tier three, which would be huge. Like, you know, we have a double points right now. We could probably pack a punch twice. I wonder if perma perks are still a thing on this map, like right now, or if the Cold War mod removed them. I imagine they're still here. What well, we got? A carpenter actually refreshes our armor, which is really, really nice. Knife. Uh, it's, oh, is it not a one hit anymore? I don't know, he had armor. Like, some Dairai zombies actually have bits of armor which will defend them from, like, damage, uh, including melee damage. So, ammo for our AN-94 is 250 points. Bro, that's hilarious. I can, I can just have, like, infinite ammo. That's just ridiculous. Let's see, shall we? Knife. No, yeah, it's not a one hit on those guys. What about these guys? I couldn't tell. I don't think that even counted. Right, let's see. One hit. No, it's, yeah, no longer a one hit knife. Sad. I think I know where Packet Punch could be. There is a spot. Let's see if we can go there here. Yes, we see it. It's right over there. I can just about see Packet Punch in that corner. Oh, hi, zombie. Fucking hell, get out of the way. Right, insta kill. Look at them all falling over down here. What are you going to do, bro? Turn, zombie. Let's go. Turn, turn. Are you, bro, are you good? I think he's like glitched because of the sliding. Where's he going? He's going down there. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Is he drunk? That was fucking hilarious, actually. Okay, we've got like one zombie left, I think. Oh, that's what I'm seeing every time I reload. It's fucking elemental pop. It's like electric cherry, I think, because it sort of replaces it. Here we go. Let's go over to the pack of punch. Oh, we've got claymores. Oh, no, Semtexes. Claymores are down there. Right, we just got to wait now. And our camping spot that we want to go to is also like just around here. Uh, Yeah, it's like down there. Very sort of risky to see, but yeah. Now, I want to see if we can pack a punch for Sliquifier immediately. So can we? No, we can't. Okay, I kind of saw that coming. That's fine. Boom, that's one upgrade. And boom, that's two upgrades. So this is going to shred. Third one, of course, is going to be 30,000 points, but it's fine. Now, the only way to get out of here... I mean, we have the Trample Steam, but I think we have to get on here, right? Unless... Can we use the Trample Steam to jump over here? Let's try it. All right, here we go. No, we can't. We can't. We cannot. Let's pick up this then. Gonna max ammo at least. Where's the fucking. Oh god, I'll go for a drop. Ooh, there we go. I think is it this door? Yeah, there we go. Open this. Oh my god, I gotta open like 50 billion doors. Where am I going? I don't even have points anymore. Oh shit. Oh, here we go. I remember where we are. This AN94 is absolutely shredding right now. Look at how much damage. It's like one shotting them. <laughs> like one tap, one tap, one tap. One tap. Like what? Here we go. Door open. Let me up, dude. We can go get our next piece of armor, which is good. Like, oh my god, look at this thing. This is what Dairo should be, bro. It's just like a fun experience where you just have a lot of potential. That's what I love about Cold War, though, unironically, is the fact that there's multiple packet punches and stuff, and you have, like, no perk limit. It just it has so much more freedom 
for how you want to play and you don't feel like oh as soon as you pack a punch your weapon you're just done right because what do you realistically do after you've pack a punched and you've got all four of your perks on say black ops 2 you just find somewhere to camp or train and then you play until you get bored whereas with cold war you actually like you know you work towards your second pack a punch your third pack a punch you've got like nine perks to buy total it's definitely like it's, it's nice it's refreshing also we can upgrade our weapon here boom so now we're at purple rarity and we can get our level two armor so should be able to get level three soon oh we've got another free perk round let's go uh let's place down our trample steam because it does count as well so yeah watch like just watch him like jump on the trample steam if we can get him to go on there come on bro come on bro boom yeah i guess one shot so as long as you don't shoot them you will get a free perk at the end of the round as well as the max ammo that you normally get which you know it's very very nice it's very useful so yeah boom bye bye <laughs> So what we're we gonna get? PhD flopper! Finally, dude! So look at this. Uh don't look at that. Look at this. Boom! So now anytime we take fall damage, we won't die. So if we accidentally fall down the elevator, for example, and we we land on the elevator at the bottom, we won't just die one shot fall damage, you know? It really does fix die rise, not gonna lie. If they just had PhD, I mean, they even tease it in the map when you go down the elevator in the spawn room. You can see the PhD machine very briefly. Like, why did Jimmy Zelitsky have to do that, man? It's nice that headshots give the same points as meleeing, so we actually, you know, we can actually do they? Yeah, they do, I think. Like 100 115, I think, is the max amount of points you can get from either meleeing or headshots. Just, oh, you don't even stand a chance, bro. The AN-94 was already fucking amazing in Die Rise, so this just, this just takes the cake, honestly. Go turned, yeah, end the fucking round. What a badass. Look at me, dude. Yeah, you wanna slap me? Huh? Huh? Bro is mad, cause bad. I mean, I suppose we could just buy Claymores, because why not? Place one here, I guess. Place another one here, boom. Bye bye. Now, someone keeps telling me to throw grenades while I have PhD, but I don't, yeah, it's literally just, it's a single grenade on BO2. On BO3, when you have PhD, I think it will just be like multiple grenades that come out. I've always said that Die Rise is like my least favorite map of all time, like below Duran Fang and stuff, but with this mod, definitely not. Definitely not. I'd argue this mod makes this map like a uh, top 20 maps. Unironically, like it, it fixes that much. Because Die Rise is just like transit where a lot of missed potential really. I mean, it's too easy to get the Wonder Weapon. The Wonder Weapon isn't exactly that amazing because it got over nerfed. There's no PhD flopper. There's no easy way to traverse the maps other than literally just waiting for the fucking elevators. Like, at least in transit, you have the bus system, right? But you also have the teleporters. And I know they're not reliable, but at least there are two methods of transportation. Well, technically three because you could just run through the fog yourself. Instead, on Die Rise, you have one method of transportation, which is waiting for elevators. That's it. That's all you get. Let's use the Seliquifier a little bit. We haven't used it for a while. Why not? I just realized we've not actually got Speed Cola yet, which is like the only thing the Seliquifier really needs. We're 15,000 points off getting our tier 3 pack of punch. All right, here we go. Spam the gun a little bit. It's not... See, this is what I mean. It'll just like glitch and not really kill like when it's supposed to. They'll just sort of stand there. We do have a double points though, which is quite nice. Oh, and an insta kill. Well, this makes things a lot easier then. We just... Boom, boom, boom. I don't want to go and camp yet. Oh, come on, dude. I want to points. Oh, that's so sad. So we're probably going to exfil on like round 30, I imagine. I think that's a smart play. We've got a part here. What, what part is this? Where is this part? Am I, am I blind? Some kind of a box? Huh? I don't know what I'm looking at. It's, oh, it's a rock. It was a rock in like that little bin, I guess. Also, God, Cold War stamina up. Look how fast we're running, dude. Also, can we appreciate the lens flare on that goddamn skybox as well? Like the Die Rise skybox is pretty clean. Not gonna lie. I've actually seen a little bit of gameplay of Die Rise Remastered because I think, what was it, Mr. Telexify made a video on it or something? And it genuinely does look pretty good. Not to mention the fact it's gonna be available on the Plutonium like BO3 client or Xlabs client, which that was the only downside to Call of the Dead Remastered when it released because obviously now we have the BO3 client, which means that it's incredibly smooth whenever we play. But on launch, the map was a little bit like, it had a lot of frame drops, it was a bit glitchy. Definitely not as bad as like some fucking Treyarch maps that have released, but yeah, just some optimization issues to say the least. Oh, here we go. Let's place down our trample steam. We've got literally, we need 1,000 points to be able to triple pack a punch. Come on, jump over here, bitch. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> Look at them just boing. Oh, no, that one, there we go. We've got like one left. Come on, jump on it, jump on it. Yeah, bitch! Hey, bye bye. 
Okay, pick that up. We got Deadshot. Nice. I think that's probably one of the last perks that we need. We literally just need Speed Cola, bro. I'm pretty sure that's it. Because, yeah, we've got eight perks right now. I think there's nine in the whole mod. Also, just the fact that this is on Black Ops 2. Like, five years ago, if you told someone that you were going to, like, play Black Ops 2 as Cold War in Black Ops 2, no one would believe you. There's been the occasional custom sort of map in Black Ops 2, but this was pre-Plutonium, you know? It's just, oh my god, it's so good. Oh, here we go. We've got a turn zombie. Refresh our armor a bit. We've also got enough points for triple packet punch now, so we'll do that at the end of this round and go into our little camping spot, I think. Plus, it's just nice being able to spray this gun and not give a shit because, you know, ammo is not that difficult to come by in this mod. Oh, this is so difficult, bro. Just, oh, what's this guy doing? <laughs> guy dodged all my shots, apparently. Spray. Look at this. Now, I don't want to end the round. Hopefully, this doesn't end the round. Okay, no, he's alive. Good, 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 good. Let's go pack a punch. All right, here we go. Pack a punch. Boom. That's tier three pack a punch done. And the zombie's taking a while to get here. But yeah, look at that skybox, dude. The, like, just for stars and everything. Here we go. Let's get on this. Get out of the way. Now, I did say I wanted to go into the camping spot, but at the same time, I want to upgrade our weapon to the final rarity, which we need 1,000 total epic salvage. We're not going to bother with tier three armor. Like, whatever. It's, it's no biggie. Like, look at this. We're basically one-shotting right now. So fucking clean. Oh, it's full auto. I never even knew it was full auto all this time. Holy shit. Like, I was always tapping it, but, you know, the more you know. Ah, give me the salvage. We're getting kind of close. Yeah, we need that epic salvage, which is like the silvery one. Oh, God, we're in a little bit of a sticky situation. Oh, no, 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 no. We're good. Making carpenters actually useful because they refresh armor. Oh my god, that was just one shot of a slick with fire. I mean, do we even bother with the camping spot at this point? I mean, I kind of wanted to, like, showcase it. You're supposed to just drop down when you're completely ready and don't have to go anywhere else, and then you just play until whatever round you want. Oh my god, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, never mind, it's fine. Somehow survived that with no stress, no ammo gone either. Oh, we've got a nuke. I mean, I kind of don't want to get that because we just want salvage. But they do drop salvage even if you get a nuke, actually. So, never mind. Like, look, we've got an ammo drop here. There's a max ammo as well. Hello. Come on, man, we're 60 salvage off. Oh, never mind. We just got, like, a shitload for getting that round complete. I forgot, they do give you, like, salvage whenever you complete a round, right? Uh, so, upgrade, boom. We're close to getting tier 3 armor, but whatever. Oh, we'll do this round. We get the fucking speed cola. Finally, dude. Took long enough. Don't even have to go searching for the stupid perk machines around the map because we just have this. Very nice. Very nice. Come on. Jump on this bitch. Boing. Bye bye. All right. Last one. He's on his way. Come on, dude. Jump on it. Jump on it. Oh, is he stuck? He's stuck. Okay. Never mind then. I'll just have to. Oh, he despawned. <laughs> what a dumbass, dude. Like, how stupid do you have to be? Finally, speed cola done. All right, let's go get in this camping spot. I can showcase it finally. It's nothing crazy. Like, it's literally just you drop down. Where is it? Here we go. Don't want to fall off the map, obviously. We sit in this corner, right? And we just shoot here. And that's it. That's the, that's the entire strat. But we keep this door shut because otherwise the zombies will get in, you know? We've got one barrier and one place for the zombies to drop down. And obviously, if we have a liquefier, we just shoot. Boom. We just gotta be careful not to move because we could just slide off the map, which would suck. And it's as simple as pie, dude. I mean, sure, you get the occasional zombie that will get forward and hit you, but it's no biggie. We've got a turn right here. Who is slapping me and not the zombies, bro? Can you do your job? There we go. Like, it's so brain dead because you just shoot once and don't have to do anything. <laughs> uh, like, look. Boop, pop, pop. All of them go pop. It's just so easy. Oh, an insta-kill. That'd be nice to get, actually. There we go. I'd say we can save ammo and use the AN-94, but, like, do we need to? Not really. We have full soliquifier, but, yeah, here we go. So, yeah, we're just gonna sit here until, like, round, I don't know, 30? 30, 35, maybe? That's the round done. Well, never mind. He fell over. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Where did you come from? <laughs> that was terrifying. We actually almost died there. That would have sucked. <laughs> That was a really lucky nuke, huh? Yeah, you get the occasional ones that will just slide all the way through and hit you anyway, like that dude. Like, bro, come on, relax. The strat is obviously to fix that. You just step back a little bit. Come on, stop hitting me, dude. There we go. We've got a max. We could just spray this a little bit. I think if we shoot from here as well, like, it'll, the liquid will go through the barrier, so we don't have to worry about anything, really. Goo, 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 goo. All right. 
Max ammo. We've also got our energy mine, you know, if ever we need to use it, but we're in no immediate danger. This speed cola is definitely nice for uh, Sliquify gaming. Oh, I missed that shot completely. I wouldn't mind doing like round 100 on every Black Ops 2 map, but it's Cold War because it would actually be like more fun and doable, which I can't say the same for like regular Black Ops 2. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, Mob of the Dead is a great map, but on Black Ops 2, other than Origins, do you really like... How fun is it to get round 100 from everything else? Even on Origins, it's a little tedious, man. Because you suffer from fucking crashes all the time. Like, you can't use the Fire Staff because it'll crash your game. The Lightning Staff, I don't think, is strong enough. Certain other things will just randomly crash your game, which sucks. Have we got a turn inside the barrier? My guy. I'd love to get that Carpenter, but it's in the single worst spot it could possibly be in. Well, that's one of the easiest round 30s of my entire life. Oh, we got this round. You know, I don't care about perks anymore since we've got them all, so I'll just, I'll just shoot. I don't care, man. Be annoying if you want. It's not like you're going to be able to do anything. Look, slide, slide. You're all weak, dude. I just want that max ammo. There we go. That's another reason why Die Rise is, like, not too bad for high rounds as well, because you get max ammo every, like, five rounds. Exfil's now available. Do we exfil now? Or 35? Or I guess it'll be 36, won't it? Screw it, dude. Let's wait until 36, but I'll skip forward because, you know, it's not exactly the most fun to watch thing in the world. All I'm doing is sitting in a corner right now. So yeah, I'll be back at the round 36 then, I guess. Um, what the fuck? Levitating? Levitating glitch? What is going on? Uh, <laughs> hello? What the f- I just jumped and I got on top of the fucking turn. There we go. <laughs> what was all that about, dude? Jeez Christ, that was close. Why did that one zombie behind me almost fucking kill me? Jeez. <laughs> oh, I just realized we didn't get Tombstone, actually, because we were missing one perk, but whatever, man. We're on, like, the last round anyway. Oh, yeah, we've got Fetch Me Their Souls round. So, I think what we want to do is we want to head towards the spawn now, since it'll save time. Now, do I remember where to go? I think it's this way, right? Yeah, so if we run across here, now we're going to have to... Ooh, there we go. Wait for this goddamn elevator to go up. And we've obviously got to fucking kill these guys. They're going to be annoying. Here we go, go to the roof, we're at spawn. Exfil should be available on the very next round, so all we do now is we just wait. Place down this trample steam, spray this goddamn gun a little bit. Uh, did he glitch? Oh, he's just like, he can't move? <laughs> These are such buggy rounds, man. I remember last time I played Die Rise, what was it, Die Rise 10 years later, they literally just- Oh, hello. <laughs> they literally like- got stuck underneath the map or some shit. But here we go, Exfil is now available, hold to Exfil. Boom, game over. You survived 36 rounds. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to check out where I played Cold War Zombies on Nuketown. It was actually pretty fun. That was my very first time playing this mod. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.